In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the mini basket weave stitch. Very similar to the ordinary basket weave stitch which would have four lines coming down. This one only has the two stitches coming down therefore it's mini, it's sort of half the size. Um, it's lovely texture to the stitch and obviously being a four row repeater pattern it's the same on the front as it is on the back. So really gorgeous texture on this stitch. So as I say it's a four row repeated pattern but the rows are very similar as you will see in the tutorial. So let's have a look. So for this tutorial I have a Stylecraft DK. I have a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. You can use whichever yarn you want and corresponding hook. Scissors to cut off my end, darning needle to sew in my end and a stitch marker just in case I need one. So to begin this mini basket weave stitch we need to make a foundation chain. So we're going to make a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. And we need to make our foundation chain in multiples of four plus two extras for turning and giving us the height for our work. So we yarn over and pull through the loop on our hook, that's one chain. Yarn over, pull through the one on our hook, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So work up as many uh, chains as you would like for the width that you would like your work to be, uh, making sure that it is in multiples of four and I shall see you in a moment. So I've just worked up my sample piece foundation chain. I've got 24 here. And now I'm going to do my two extra chains at the end of my multiple of four. So one and two. So I'm now ready to start row one. And row one starts in the fourth chain from the hook. So we never count the one on the hook. So one, two, three, four and I'm going in there with a treble that's UK terminology in US that would be a double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the fourth chain, yarn over, pull through, you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do a treble in the next stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Now this turning chain at the beginning is also counting as a treble, just for your information. So we're going to put one treble in each of the chains all the way back down the row. So pause the video now whilst you do a row of trebles into your foundation chain and I shall see you in a moment. So I've just finished row one, my row of trebles, I'm ready to start row two. Now row two is the start of the four row repeating pattern. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and turn our work. That chain two counts as a half treble, and we're going to have a half treble at the start and the end of each row. So because that half treble counts, we're going to ignore this stitch here and we're going to be working with the next stitch and we're going to be making a back post treble that's UK terms it's a back post double in US terms and we're going to be working around this post here so to do that we yarn over come in behind your work through that first gap over the top of the post that stitch and come out the other side. Yarn over and pull back through and you might need to just bring your work up slightly just so you can finish off your stitch. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last loops on your hook. We're going to do another back post treble in the next stitch. So again yarn over, come in from the back over the top of the post and out through the back again. Yarn over, pull the yarn back through and make sure it's in line with the rest of your work. Yarn over through two, 
yarn over through two. So that's two back post trebles. We're now going to do two front post trebles. So around the next stitch we're going to yarn over and with the back post you go in through the back, with the front post you go in through the front. So you go in through the front, behind the stitch and back out the front again. Yarn over, pull the yarn behind that post and bring it up in line with your work. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And we're going to do another front post treble there in the next stitch. So yarn over, in through the front, out to the back, behind the post and come out the front again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. In the next two, and this is a repeat all the way down the row now, we're going to do two back posts. So yarn over, in through the back, over the top, out the back. That's one back post. And then two back posts. And then two front posts. So you come in over the top through the front for the front posts. So two back posts and then two front post trebles. And we're going to do that all the way down the row until you have two posts and a turning chain left. So work your way down the row till you get to this point and I will see you in a moment. So I've just finished my repeated pattern with two front posts and I have two posts and the turning chain left. So I'm going to do two back posts, one around each of these posts here. So two back post trebles. So that's one. and two Now on the top of this three chain here we're going to do a half treble that's UK terms, in US terms you're going to do a half double so to do that you're going to yarn over insert into the stitch yarn over, pull through three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and that is row two complete. So row three is very similar. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and that counts as a stitch. Therefore, we're not going to be working around this post here. We're going to start working around these posts here. And we're going to do two front post trebles. So they were back posts at the end of the last row that got pushed back, but obviously on this row they look like front posts. So we're basically elongating these stitches. So yarn over behind the post, we'll be doing front post treble, yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And you can see how that's just made that stitch longer. I'm going to do the same around the next one. And then around the next two posts we're going to do back post trebles. So we're going to come in from the back, around the front, and then around the back of the next post. And if you flip that over you'll see that we've now elongated these stitches here. So two front posts, two back posts, two front post trebles, one and two, and two back post trebles, one and two. So continue down this row then with two front post trebles, two back posts, two front posts, two back posts, again till you get to your last few stitches 
and I will see you at the end of this row. So we come to our last three stitches again. So we're going to do a front post treble around the first post, front row treble around the second post, and then the half treble into the top of the turning chain. And you can really see how that pattern is starting to build up now. So row 4 is essentially a repeat of row 3 that we've just done. So we're going to chain 2, 1, 2, turn our work. That chain 2 counts as a treble. Therefore we're not going to be working around this post here. We're going to be working around the next two posts and we're going in there with front post treble. So the idea is that they're pushed to the back at the moment and we want to pull to the front. So yarn over, front post treble around the post, front row treble around the next post, and then back row treble around the next post, and back row treble around the next. And then you repeat that with two front posts, and two back posts. And again we're going to continue all the way down till we get to our last two posts and the turning chain. So pause the video now whilst you complete row four. So I've just come to the end of row four, just done my last two back posts. So I'm going to do front post around each of the next two posts. So front post trebles. So that's one and two. And as before, we're going to do a half treble. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three into the turning chain. So row four was a repeat of row three, row five is a repeat of row two. So you basically go two, three, three, two, if you like. So to do that, then we're going to chain two, one, two, that chain counts as a half treble. And then we're going to start by doing two back post trebles around those first two posts. So one and two. And then two front post trebles. Two back post trebles. and two front post trebles. And again we continue all the way down to our last two posts and turning chains and I will see you at the end of row five. So pause the video now. So I've just done my last two front post trebles and I've got one, two and the turning chain. So I'm going to do two back post trebles around these last two posts. So that's one and two. And then I'm going to do my half treble into the turning chain to finish off the row. So that is the four row repeat throughout the whole pattern. And you can really see the basket weave is starting to work there. It's obviously the same on both sides. So now we go back to row two. So we finish row five, we go back to row two, which is chain two. Chain two counts as a half treble. And then we're going to work a back post treble 
around the first one and a back post treble around the second and then we work a front post treble and another one So I'm going to work up a few more rows now for you to see how it looks and I shall see you in a moment. So I've just worked up a few more rows for you to see how it looks. So you get this gorgeous texture on it and when you flip it over it's exactly the same on the other side. Really nice stitch, nice feel to it. It's a little bit dense because obviously this makes it feel like it's the raised stitches when you're working in front of posts so you've got areas that are a little bit more dense than others but it's just a really gorgeous stitch. Now if you're interested in the normal, if you like, or the larger um, basket weave stitch I'll put a link in the cards so you can go and have a look at that video and I'll also link it at the end of this video on the end screen. Um, so this is the mini basket weave which has two raised parts. When you work the basket weave, the normal basket weave, you end up with four lines and then four going across, four lines, four going across. So it does look slightly different. So if you were doing it for a blanket you might want to use the other basket weave, the larger basket weave, but this one's quite nice if you want the same sort of effect but on a smaller project. So if you've enjoyed this video today please give it a thumbs up, it really does help the algorithm to show it to other crocheters. If you have enjoyed seeing my stitch marker today this is the resin um, toadstool, I couldn't think what it was called then. Um, so that's available in my Shopify shop. I'll pop a link somewhere around the screen for you to go and have a look there. It is also available in my Etsy store if you prefer to shop that way. You can go to shop.conquercrochet.com to see all of my other lovely stitch markers and haberdashery stickers and other stationary things to do with crochet. So if you're looking for a gift for yourself or for somebody else, please have a look at our shop. As I said I'm going to pop two videos on the side of the screen over here for you to help you on your crochet journey. One of those will be the basket weave stitch in case you're interested in having a look to see the difference between the two stitches and the other one will be just another one to help you on your crochet journey. So thank you very much for joining me on this video for the mini basket weave stitch and I shall see you in the next one and happy hooking!